Now, our examples of basic examples, this is page seven, in case you're wondering. Check your understanding questions. These are converting between imperial units. So we have on page six what those conversions are. First question is asking us to convert yards to feet. We know that one yard equals three feet. So if I have seven yards, how many feet do I have? Personally, I would set this up as a fraction. Three feet is one yard. So how many feet in seven yards? If I take one, I multiply it by seven to get seven yards. And I'm sorry about that, you can't see that. So that means three will get multiplied by seven. Whatever I multiply the bottom by to get this number, I multiply the top one to get the top side. And that means I'm gonna have 21 feet. So same way, you can look at it this way. One yard to seven yards, there's seven of them. So times seven, 21 feet. Part two, that's part one. Part two wants us to go to inches. Well, we already know we have 21 feet. How many inches is that going to be? Well, you know, one foot is equal to 12 inches. How do we get from one foot to 21? We multiply it by 21. So we're going to take the 12 inches and multiply it by 21, which gives us 252 inches. And that's it to part one and two. These were both cases we're taking large measurement to small units. Because an inch is much smaller than a yard. Part B, convert 62 inches to feet and inches. There's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna do it the way I would do it first, and then I'll show you another way. 62 inches to blank feet, blank inches. I know with one foot equaling 12 inches, that tells me that I can tell right away from this, the largest number of feet that would work, five feet is equal to 60 inches times five times five. So that means five feet would be in 60 inches with two inches left over. That's my answer, nice and easy, but I could also choose to do it this way, call it the calculator. Take 62, divide it by 12. That's gonna give me 5.166 feet, feet. So I know I have five feet. So I have five feet. So I'm gonna subtract five from 5.166, repeat. So I'm left with 0.166, repeat of a foot. So I'm going to multiply that by 12. And that equals 2. So I get my 5 feet. My 5 feet, 2 inches.
that's part I. Part I, I. I know there's three feet equals one yard. If I start with five feet and I take away three feet, I get that three feet becomes one yard. I'm left with five take away three equals two, two feet. And I can't forget the two inches. Now we're going to give you a few examples, a few questions for you to try yourself.